Raise your hand if you hate school. Is it just me? Or is school an extremely depressing place to be in? I go taking my notes for school. I figure, you know what? Let me buckle down today. Let me be a real good student. You know, let me take my note. So I go write down my notes, right? But every time I do that, it's just like... I, I just can't stay awake in class, man. Like, I, I stay awake, but I'm pretty sure it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I figure it's my fault because I didn't sleep enough and I didn't prepare for this day properly. So it's just like, you know what, whatever. But as soon as you walk out of class, as soon as I walk out of class, I'm good. School drains my energy. That's number one. Number two, let's talk about Tom. Tom, I know everybody deals with the issue when you go into class and the first thing you think about when you get in there is I can't wait for this to be over so you're sitting in class the whole time and you look at the clock like every five seconds but me I try to be different I try not to look at the clock so much I say you know what I know that tortures everybody let me be a little bit different so I sit down and I tell myself okay you're not gonna look at the clock that much today you're probably not gonna look at it at all you're gonna avoid this clock Permanently, I have no self control because five seconds after I say that, I look at the clock. Eventually, I try, I, I talk to myself like, Yo, you gotta get this down, you gotta stop looking at this clock. Don't look at the clock for such a long period of time, just just don't look at the clock, and everything will have gone past. So, what I try to do is I try to calculate in my head how much time has passed in during the class. And I try, I try not to overestimate, I try to underestimate so I can feel good when I look at the clock. So I'll try to think in my head, hey, this much time has passed in the class. We got about 30 minutes left. So I could be happy when I look up at the clock and it really says we got five minutes left in class. I'm like, wow, really? Let's go. That never works out for me. I don't know about y'all, but for me, whenever I'm in class, people say the clock moves slow. No. The clock moves in reverse. I'm thinking, you know what? I haven't looked in that clock in a good hour. We probably got like 15 minutes of class left. I look up and it's 40. Another thing I hate about school is being picked on by your teacher or your professor when you did not raise your hand. And I thought this was going to be over when I got into college, but no. <laughs> No, it's crazy because sometimes you could be a good student. You could be a good student and you're actually trying to pay attention. You're try actually trying to participate in class and your professor will always pick you in that one moment that you did not raise your hand at all. This actually happened to me in one of my current classes. There's a line of questions on the board that the professors put laid out for us to answer. So they're going throughout all the questions saying okay let's let's see what you guys know so i'm like all right so let's just say i don't remember the exact number let's just say it was eight questions right i knew seven answers i knew seven other answers i have my textbook right here i know seven other answers i'm like okay i got that i got that i got that so i'm raising my hand because i know this professor likes to pick on me i'm raising my hand every time she asks a question i'm like hey over here i got it right now so you're gonna stop making a fool out of me but the one particular question I don't know, I know in my head, hey, I don't know this one. You're not going to raise your hand right here. That doesn't matter. Raise my hand for number one. She doesn't call me. Okay. Raise my hand for number two. Nah. Raise my hand for number three. All right. So I'll raise my hand for number four. I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go professor still doesn't pick on me number five number five is the question i don't know the answer to i'm like whoa whoa no i'm not I'm not about to raise my hand for that the second i guarantee you the second that i put my hand down professor calls on my name did you not just see me raise my hand for like four other questions and you see my me i put my hand down for this one and you choose to pick on me now I didn't leave the class, but I should have. And it's crazy because when you try to break the system, you're like, hey, 
the teacher or the professor, they never pick on me when I raise my hand. So I'm not going to raise my hand when I do know it. I'm going to raise my hand when I don't know it. So you raise your hand when you don't know it, and then they pick on you. Are you breaking the system? You can't do that. I raise my hand. This is what we doing now? This is what we doing now? We picking on students that raise their hands? I hate some professors so much. Four things I hate about school. Professors with accents. Why? Who hired you? At what point during the job interview that did anybody understand what this person was saying? I've had too many teachers and professors that I did not understand at all. And I don't know why they bring them in here. Cause I, at, at this point, it's just like, you know what? They're just trying to get a job. They're gonna go try to get whatever job they can. So I'm not gonna blame them. I'm gonna blame the person that hired them. Why are you hiring them? You're messing up my education. You're messing up my grades. I don't know what they're saying to me. I don't care how else you explain it. I don't care how they try to explain the, the equation. They go 50 different ways for this formula, whatever. I don't care. Because I did not understand not one way they said it in any type of method. I, I, I'm confusing myself thinking about it. Fifth and final thing that I hate about school. Math. Is there really anything else for me to say? Alright guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys, that's it for the video. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, share, comment, and some. What the? Comment? <laughs>